Hi guys, it's Mindy again, and welcome to Very Low Cavalry Day number one. Um, so yesterday was my loading day number two, and let me tell you, I ate a lot of crap. Um, I had cereal, yogurt, Faya yogurt, uh, peaches, I had chocolate milk, I think. I had ribs, I had bratwurst, no bun. Um, I had a couple potato chips, I had ice cream, I had cinnamon rolls, I had brownies. <laughs> oh, and I had a cheeseburger from McDonald's. I had a lot of crap yesterday. But yet somehow, magically, miraculously, I don't know, I was down a pound today. I was at 220.6, yeah, down one whole pound on loading day, number two. I, I don't know what happened. So this morning I worked out, I did level two of the Jillian Michaels 30 day shred video and I had a like quarter cup of grapefruit juice instead of having fruit because I never eat my fruit so I figured I'll eat, I'll drink a quarter cup of grapefruit juice and it doesn't have any um anything besides grapefruit juice that's it's 100 percent grapefruit juice so i had that for breakfast um after my workout and then for lunch i made um like a coconut curry type thing i used uh, 97 percent ground lean ground beef a portobello mushroom cap and i look really shiny right here a portobello mushroom cap and a cucumber and I cut it all up put it in a pan and sauteed it with some coriander um, ground mustard salt pepper and some Tony whatever chicaroni I don't know what his name is Tony something Creole seasoning and then I just took the coconut milk the Thai Asian kitchen coconut milk and did like three turns around the pan and I cooked that and it was delicious. Put some hot sauce on the top because I love hot sauce. And how much calorie? There's zero calories in one teaspoon and I use about like a quarter teaspoon. I just kind of like shake it around and stir it in because I don't know why I like hot sauce. So I'm still a little sick and it's getting really annoying. So I think I'm gonna use my neti pot because I watched Miss HG Girls um, vlog this morning and she was talking about her neti pot and it kind of made me miss my neti pot so I might have to use a neti pot for those of you who don't know what a neti pot is look it up because I don't feel like explaining it because it's kind of disgusting I actually remember when I first heard of a neti pot it was on this tv show called six feet under and um one of the people on there used it and I was like that is so gross that is disgusting why would anybody do that and then I used one once and I was hooked so I might use my neti pot today. Hmm. Anyways, I wanted to talk about, this is my tip. It's not anything, um, it's about working out actually, which may not relate to all of you because I know some people don't like to work out while on HCG. You're not supposed to work out while on HCG, but I've really enjoyed working out. So I'm going to try it and see how it affects me and hopefully it's not bad but my tip is while working out or while really doing anything that you just don't feel like doing this morning I did not want to work out at all and this is what I thought I thought I'm gonna put it on and I'm gonna put it on and then I'm gonna want to do it so I put it on and I was like okay so I'll go for however long I feel like doing it today so I started out and I was like I'll probably just get through half the workout or whatever so I do half the workout and then I was like you know what I'll just do the next exercise and then I'll be good and then I do the next exercise and then I was like you know what I'll just do the next exercise because that wasn't so bad and finally um, I'm at the end and I'm cooled down and I'm stretching and I'm like oh well I guess I'll do the whole thing it wasn't really that bad at all so that's my suggestion and my tip today is just do a little bit at a time like it's a mini goal to just get through the next exercise but that's my mini goal and I succeeded my mini goal when you succeeded at a goal it makes you feel better and it makes you feel better enough to do the next goal so if you have to take HCG literally five minutes at a time do it 
five minutes that you don't reach for something you're not supposed to eat is five minutes that you didn't reach for something you're not supposed to eat. So, or, you know, a day at a time if that's a little bit um, more realistic for you. So that's my tip for today is literally just take it a moment at a time. Like, we all have major goals that we would like to hit. Like, I would love to be a certain size someday. But for right now, I'm just happy losing a pound during loading. And tomorrow I'll hopefully lose another pound. And then the day after that, I'll hope to lose another pound. And um, <clears throat> mini goals is how I'm getting myself through this. Is, you know, making daily goals that I need to hit. I need to drink this much water. And look, I did. Or I need to get through one more of these. And I get through one more and then I'm like, oh, I'll get through another more and another one and so on and so forth. So stay encouraged. Watch people's vlogs. They really do help. To see other people's successes is amazing. To watch people like Hebby Dobby or Miss HCG Girl or Mama Clock and look at where they were and then look at where they're at and look at their journeys and I mean we all have struggles they have had struggles and everybody's gonna struggle but stay consistent make many goals remember that you are important this is important taking care of your taking care of yourself is important and even if you aren't doing HCG right now, if you're on a break or whatever, just do what you can. You can always make choices. You can always make better choices. So just remember that, to make better choices and do what you can. Make mini goals and set yourself up for success instead of failure. <clears throat> Pat yourself on the back with even the smallest successes because you deserve it. So that's, um, that's it for today. I will go over what I'm wearing on my face, um, well on my eyes I'm using my, um, I'm feeling retro, I have the purple on my lid, the blue in my crease, and I'm wearing black eyeliner as usual, and mascara, blah blah, we all know. I am wearing on my cheeks my NYX red blush, and um, my sunlight bronzer. And on my lips, I'm wearing another one of my favorite lip products, which is the NYX Matte Lip Creams, and this is in Tokyo, which is just a really pale pink with a clear gloss on top because I wasn't feeling the matte look. And I was going to straighten my hair, but one of the kids in my house has stolen my hair straightener for the last couple of months, and I don't know where it is. So that's that. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I love you all.